You ever notice that all the prices end in nine? Damn, that's eerie. All right, ladies, let's play ball. Hey, Strong. Yeah. Well, maybe you should go fight sometime. Well, you speak English, don't you? Yeah, okay. All right, so Longfellow and I are going to show you how to build a chicken coop uh, bunkhouse. All right, so a pretty basic building, and I'm um, guessing once you've seen how it's built, you may be a little <laughs> disappointed at how simple it is. Okay, so actually uh, we only need two. And then what we're going to do is we are going to switch. And the one that I built for my challenge was a, um, the one I built for my challenge, we used barn sides. But for this one, I'm going to go ahead and use, um, for this one, I'm going to go ahead and use uh, uh, the warehouse sides because variety, you know, might as well, right? So... Just for the fun of things, we're going to go ahead and, and these, everybody always wants to start a fight, so, you know, what the hell. Alright, so, and then we're just going to get these sides put here, and then we're going to do this, and uh, that piece is going to go there. Now what we have to do is we have to actually raise this up. So let's raise this up, and the reason why that is, is because, well, one, one, come on, there we go. We want to get this piece, how about you guys stop stepping in my way? So we want to get this piece right there. And then this piece is going to go here and there. And then finally, we're going to put this piece here here and then this piece here so that's going to close off the ends and then we need some stairs and for these stairs I like to use something like this all right so we're just gonna do this and this and now we can go back to our warehouse pieces and we can put our roof on and so <clears throat> the reason why we have to do the ends like this is because um, if we don't uh, so we can't use that oops I use the wrong piece so if we don't do the ends like this right with this step up like this you'll never get inside so it just so happens that these arch pieces are up just high enough to where we can actually walk underneath them. And as a result, so we have this nice piece here. As a result, we can come in here and walk, but we cannot go underneath the end piece. So we have to use these types of roofs. Um, you could use some different ones. You can't use the flat ones because you can't get in, but we have to build our steps like this. Now, what we can do is we can, oops, we can take this whole thing and, uh, what we should be able to. Uh, you guys are going to make me, uh, make a liar out of me. There we go. So now we can sink this down to wherever we need it and we want it. Alright, so now we can still get inside. Right, we can go down there. And then it's just a matter of closing off the ends. So you just close off the ends however you want. Uh, if you wanted to, you could probably do a piece like this. Uh, if it would go in there, may not go in there. Maybe if we step it up, raise it back up. So can we get this piece in? Uh, no, it's not going to go in there because of the roof piece. That's okay. We could go with a piece like this. All right. And then we can always stick this piece here. And uh, luckily I have my favorite tool. And.
and uh, we're just going to glitch this in best way we can however that is and let's lower this down alright so there we go and actually the wood pieces glitch in so much better than these metal pieces but we're going to go with this metal piece uh, however we can here uh, we just got to get it close and uh, we'll come over here put this piece in uh, there we go uh, that piece and let's get this piece glitched in here come on there we go so it's just a matter of getting this in however we can get it in there and then uh, let's see we can go with this piece here right because well, let's put another one out here because we're going to need two and of course you can close off the ends you know in other ways but uh you know let's go with an all metal type of thing oops let's go with all metal for this this here application and uh get this part sealed off All right, so if we go like that, there we go, and then we could even, if we wanted to, we can even go with a piece here and there, right, to seal off the inside. So uh, what I did on the other one is I used, um, I I just used railing here, but let's say we want to go with something like this just to continue with the the wood motif right so let's just kind of get that in there or the wood motif the metal motif hey strong you trying to practice using uh stairs showing <laughs> showing just how smart you are are you look strong can use stairs Strong, smart. All right. So we'll put this piece in here, and there we go. Get our stairs put back in place, and just like that, we have ourselves a nice little shack. It's our chicken coop shack. There you go. So then you can just decorate it up however you want. You know, it doesn't have to be a barracks or anything like that. Uh, you can make it longer if you wanted to, so you can get more stuff in there. You can make it like a horseshoe, and instead of having this end go straight out, uh, you can maybe uh, make it go the other direction, right? So put another, uh, uh, what do you call them, foundation, shack foundation. Put it here, and then have the other part go off, so you have two uh horseshoes you know to uh make it look like a horseshoe piece so you can do something like that and um then it's just a matter of sinking the whole thing back down why don't you look out there uh brahma bill all right so then we just sink it down to where we want it just making sure that we don't go down so far that we can't go in and out which we don't have a problem ideally we sink it down far enough that we uh uh, can do that now if you don't want to use the shack foundation floors and you want to use the um, uh, you want to use the um, the wood floors from either the barns or the warehouses so that way you could put your siding all the way down so that way it closes it completely off you could do that um, but you could also you know hide the sides with something like this you know uh, if you wanted to do something like this be no problem um boy i tell you you settlers you guys all have issues you know so you can just easily kind of hide this this part off you know just kind of 
stick that up there like that and there you go so there's there it is uh, quick and easy simple I think um, I think it adds character it's something a little bit different um, I wanted something that um, you know so many times you build something out of these warehouse pieces and the barn pieces it's so tall and I mean it's still kind of tall but once you go inside it doesn't feel like super tall it feels cozy so and I had the idea of it being like a chicken coop because usually chicken coops are a bit smaller you know obviously chicken coops wouldn't be this long but uh, you know, unless it was a big old farm or something but um, yeah so there you go um, let me know if there's anything else that uh, you'd like to see. Thanks, everybody. Have a good one. Bye. I simply love what you've done with this place. Heavy metal meets house and garden. Thank you, sir.